What's going on everybody? Colin the Great here bringing you another one of my Pro Tools how-to videos. In the first couple of weeks, we really kept it with the basics. I mean, the bare bones basics, how to import a, uh, a file and how to export a file. Really the most simple things that you can do on Pro Tools. Today, we are gonna be taking it up just a notch or two, and we're gonna be looking at how to actually record in Pro Tools. You got your file imported in, you wanna record something, so then you can now export that file out. Today, we're gonna go over exactly how to do that. So let's get going, baby. All right, we got Pro Tools open, we got our instrumental or our beat imported into Pro Tools, and we are now ready to record. Before you get going recording your dope ass verse, you wanna make sure a few things are kind of lined up before you get recording. It'll just help make mixing that much easier. One, probably the most important, is you wanna make sure you have an audio interface set up and linked to Pro Tools. If you're having trouble figuring out where to go to find that or figure it out, you can go here to setup, playback engine, and then where it says playback engine, you're gonna wanna find whatever you have, whatever interface you have, you're gonna wanna make sure that that is selected, and then it's gonna ask you to save your whole dealio, your project, you'll just click yes, you'll click okay, and then it'll bring it back up. So that is step number one, is to make sure that your audio interface is linked up to Pro Tools so that when you start recording into your microphone, it is going to get picked up in Pro Tools. Step number two is before you get recording, you wanna make sure you have the gain set to an appropriate level. If it is too quiet, it will not pick up enough of your vocals on the microphone. If it is too loud, it will pick up too much of your vocals on the microphone. So you wanna make sure you find that happy balance my uh, interface is a Focusrite Scarlett Solo USB edition. I have zero through 10 on my gain. I like to keep mine right around six or seven and I talk pretty loudly. I get excited when I record. So there's really no reason to go all the way up to 10 unless you are trying to record more of a whisper, a soft spoken kind of deal. But you wanna make sure one, you got your interface set up, two, your gain is set appropriately and three, Last but certainly not least, you wanna make sure that your mic is set up uh, in the appropriate levels for you to stand up and record. Sit down and record. You wanna make sure the pop filter is enough away from the microphone to where it actually stops those syllabances, the p, -p and the s. A good rule of thumb, little tip and trick here, is your pop filter, this little dealio right here, you want it about a fist's length away from your microphone. So what I do is before I record, I like to slip my fist right in here, make sure that there is about a fist's length in between the microphone and the pop filter itself. Sweet. So we got all three of those boxes checked. You're now ready to get recording. We've had Pro Tools open and you're just chomping at the bit to get going. So the first thing you wanna do is go click this record button and click play. One thing you might notice is that it is not recording your vocals. There are two separate record buttons. It gets a little confusing. You're gonna have one up here at the very top and you're gonna have one on every single one of your audio tracks. The difference between the two is when you click the record button on the audio track, it is now arming that track to be recorded on. So just cause you click record on the one track doesn't mean it is going to record. You are now enabling Pro Tools to let that track record when it is triggered. The way to trigger the recording on that track is to go up here to this top record button. This is going to be your record button right here. You're going to click record enable. Record enable is now enabling the track that you triggered to be recorded on. Both of those record buttons have to be blinking in order for you to be able to record a track. So now that we got both of them blinking, you can click space bar. You can kind of talk into the mic a little bit, test out your volumes, adjust the gain levels from here, do what you need to do to really get a sound that you're looking for. And then from there, once you lay your vocals down, you got everything where you want it to be. You can go ahead, stop the track, 
do your mixing, do what you got to do, bada bing, bada boom. So that is how you're going to record in Pro Tools. You are going to want to make sure that both of those record buttons are triggered. The top one being the record enable, actually enabling Pro Tools to let you record. If you have one track armed for recording, obviously you can record on that one audio track. But just keep in mind, if you have multiple audio tracks enabled for recording or armed for recording and you enable the recording, when you go to actually record, it is going to record on every single track that is armed. Now, keep in mind, this is not a shortcut on getting dubs because what will happen is you'll run into certain phasing issues. Um, you just want to make sure one track is armed for recording at a time before you start recording. Otherwise, you'll have some trouble with mixing. Just a helpful tip, little trick for you guys. Now, last but certainly not least, let's say that you, you're busting through your, uh, your session and you click this record button up here and you notice that none of these buttons are, are blinking, none of the tracks are armed for recording, and you say, you know what, I'm enabling Pro Tools to let me record, it should just let me record, it won't. It'll give you the no tracks are record enabled, meaning none of these audio tracks that you have in your Pro Tools session are armed for recording. So again, just to reiterate, both of these buttons, both of the record buttons have to be blinking at you in order for Pro Tools to record. Boom. Alrighty. That pretty much does it for me here today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of my Pro Tools how-to videos. I hope they're getting a little bit more advanced and they're helping you guys out as much as they helped me out when I first started making music. If you guys have a video that you would like to see a how-to on for Pro Tools, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn your notifications on for more helpful tips and tricks when it comes to studio mixing. And while you're at it, enjoy the rest of your day today. Peace!